At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And our team was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a day in the life um, i just got myself ready i'm not going to apply any makeup today i'm going to have a makeup free day axel's down off for his first nap of the day and yeah i thought i'd just film a little chatty day in the life so it was my birthday last week uh, i turned 29 years old and i can't quite believe it that i'm going to be 30 next year which is like crazy but um, yeah, I didn't do much to be honest. Uh, my husband surprised me with a birthday cake, a very nice chocolate cake. Um, I will insert a picture here. Um, and that was a really nice surprise. Then last week we also met up with some friends from the Netherlands. Uh, they always visit us every single year. They come to Marmors every single year. And that was also very nice to see them again. And they brought some presents. They asked me if they could bring something from the Netherlands that I can't get here. And I was thinking like, what do they not sell here in Turkey that I really want? And I really wanted some wrapping paper. And that's just something that they don't know here in Turkey. They always have things in like a box or like in a foil paper if that makes sense um, but they don't know like the wrapping paper that we have in the Netherlands and I will show you it in a second but they brought some uh, with Mickey and some Disney wrapping paper which is just the cutest and um, so that was really nice to see them again here in Turkey. Axel still teething so he doesn't sleep very well last night was again very rough um, yeah, that's something that I didn't expect to be really honest with you. Like Axel is now 10 and a half months, almost 11 months uh, old. Sorry, my battery just died. But, uh, but yeah, something that I wanted to say is that I didn't expect like um, to have like sleepless nights still when he's like almost 11 months old. Um, he never slept well. The best he ever did was wake up twice in the night and that only happened maybe three times and most nights he still wakes up around six seven eight times this night it was definitely more um so yeah he still wakes up a lot and i just i just don't know what's the problem to be honest with you like if he's still hungry at night or that he has like a sleep association that he just want to drink to fall asleep um i'm not really sure and if there are moms watching this video and you are like maybe you should try this then please let me know in the comments down below because i just i just don't know what i'm doing wrong a lot of people told me it will get better once he turns one years old that it will get better um i really hope so because like i don't know i'm just so tired all the time i always need to nap as well in the day because otherwise it's just it's just too <laughs> exhausting and this night as well he woke up around three o'clock and it took like one and a half hour to get him back to sleep and uh, before that he woke up lots of times so yeah, it, it, it's not great. <laughs> so if you have any tips, um, let me know in the comments down below. Or you can always message me on Instagram as well. So after a few days, my father will come to Turkey. He will stay with us for, I believe, like 20 days. Um, which is very exciting. And I will also vlog. Um, so that's something we are very looking forward to. And another very exciting thing is that I have some collaborations again. Um, which is always fun. And I think the next two videos uh, after this will be the collaborations. So if you want to watch them, I really, really appreciate that. And I always like to chat with you guys in the comments down below. So yeah, make sure you will check them out because I'm very excited about uh, the collaborations. So yeah, Axel is still sleeping now. And when he wakes up, we will have some fruit. Um, I also need to give him his extra vitamins. And I will just show you guys what we're up to today. To be really honest with you, we don't do anything very exciting at the moment. They are just like home vlogs um, but yeah I still hope you enjoy them and this is just the reality you know with a baby right now but when my father gets here uh, after a few days we definitely have some fun days planned and I will obviously vlog 
Um, so yeah, look out for that. So this is the wrapping paper I talked to you guys about. And they've got a few different Mickey ones. Because like I told you guys, I'm going to throw Axel a Mickey themed birthday party. And they also got one with cars on it. And, and I know that he's gonna love this. Um, he is already obsessed with cars. So maybe his second birthday will be like a car themed. Who knows? And then they also got this one with Winnie the Pooh. And yeah, they are just the cutest. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the Mickey ones for his birthday this year. Look how nice and colorful they are. So cute. So today I'm going to give Axel some cherries. He really loves them. And I just got them in very small pieces. He doesn't like purees anymore. He just likes to bite it off or like little pieces to eat. Come here. Mmm. Good so. Good so. Mmm. <laughs> even naar de camera kijken. Oh. Ik zie ook even bij de camera. Dat is mooi. So Axel also got this very cute toy from uh, our friends in the Netherlands. Hey, mooi, wow. So Axel just woke up from his nap and I cut some tomatoes. And I gave him a cherry tomato in his uh, fruit pacifier and I'm also going to give him some Turkish yogurt and I also cut up a little bit of uh, cherry tomatoes in these little uh, pieces that I'm going to give him. And I'm going to make myself a grilled cheese sandwich. Lekker hè? Mm. And he already had a bath now. Uh, I usually give him food first and then after I do him in his bath. But immediately after he woke up, he had a little accident. So that's why I did him in bath first. I'm also giving him some water. And like I said, some yogurt. Um, this is usually what he has for lunch. Some Turkish yogurt and also some vegetables. And tomato is his favorite by far. He doesn't like any other vegetables that much yet. Um, but tomato he really likes. So yes, he's having some cherry tomatoes. We just came back to the living room, to the air conditioning. Axel was crying a lot. He didn't want to eat anything. So I'm just having my lunch here. Um, yeah, some days are like this. Then your TV is your best friend. Axel is watching Teletubbies. That's his favorite show. So yeah, some days are like this. Hard. Axel here doesn't want to sleep. So I'm going to make myself a iced coffee to get through the day. Like honestly, this has been such a realistic mundane delight. So I just changed my outfit. I'm going to walk to my mother-in-law just to get some fresh air. We do that every single day. So my husband will be there as well. I'm going to cut his hair so my mother-in-law can look uh, after Axel while I cut my husband's hair. And if you're new here, I'm a hairdresser and I always do my husband's hair. So yeah, we're off now. So after he came back from my mother-in-law, I didn't really feel much. Axel was just so tired because he skipped his last nap of the day. So that's why he was just exhausted. So I put him to bed and I did my skincare. So this was a very realistic day in the life. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't too negative. I also try to show, you know, a realistic day in the life. Um, not every day is perfect. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!